I think there's a lot of um, pitfalls investing in small caps, and one of the reasons is that you know there's so many of them, so and they're under researched and they're very small businesses. So for the person on the street who you know is not a specialist doing small caps, it's fraught with danger. Um, you know, a lot there's a lot of great small cap managers out there. You know, who've been doing small caps for a long period of time and it's a specialist skill. So all of those things that you see, um, it amazes me some of the businesses that get off the ground. Obviously there's demand from retail investors for uh, speculative investments, but the institutional market probably tends to stay away from some of those riskier business models because they've seen there's things that don't work. Um, so business models and concepts and business plans and people with dodgy track records. So I guess the more experience you've got in doing small caps, the more things you learn to stay away from that it, you know, just won't fly. It's better to lose a bit of upside on something speculative, but be grounded and say, look, I just don't think this business model will, will ever work. And it, in small caps, I think it, the first thing is management. You have to have good, competent management that are driven. And I think the rest um, you know, is really comes down to cash flow and, and what's gonna come out of the business. So I, I think the two key things are having good management and having, you know, a business model that you can understand where the cash is going to come from and long term is going to deliver returns to shareholders. Look, the, the smaller you go, the less quality the management are. It takes time for them to, um, to prove themselves. But if you look at businesses, you know, I think that the, the management, and it's a big business now, of Domino's Pizzas has done an, an excellent job from being a very small business all the way through to being a large business. And that happens time and time again in small caps. You see, so if you look to the big cap companies now that have come from being smaller companies, they're the guys that are being very successful. In the very in the micro cap space, it's a bit of a leap of faith. You you want to find management that it's passionate about the business. They've got skin in the game, and they're the ones that you want to back. So you know we've got a shareholding invited group, and that's a business where you've got management are very passionate about the business. They've been there for a long time. It's got a 300 mil market cap, and they're very keen to grow the business. So you know we think that's great management in a, in a tough industry.